Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm testing out five different products, all of them by request and all of them $20 or less to see how they really work. That's today's video. So because I'm squeezing five products into one video, this won't be quite as extensive as some of my other videos are, but I kind of pick products that don't require extensive reviewing anyways. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my initial test, and at the very end, I'll update you and let you know if anything changes. My first two gadgets are kind of tested together, so let's check out the USB phone fan and the French fry ketchup holder. Now I bought this from AliExpress months ago. They have these also on Amazon. What's interesting is that the one on AliExpress and even the instructions on this one show a little bit different model than the one I got. <laughs> you can see from the instructions, most of the ones I've seen on Amazon and AliExpress have a little adapter where you can go from uh, Android to iPhone. Uh, this one's supposed to, but it doesn't. But that's beside the point because it looks like it does have the iPhone connector on the end, so uh, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Very simple, all you do is attach these two pieces together attaching the pieces. I think I only paid a buck for this on AliExpress, but you add shipping and like a month or two of wait time. I, I think I saw a six pack on Amazon for 14 bucks. That'd probably be the way to go because you get a lot faster. Returns are a lot easier. But if you wanna go the AliExpress route, I'll let you know how it goes. I got an old iPhone 7 right here. Let's see. Oh, not bad. I mean, I, I turned my air off in the car, so it's a little bit stuffy in here. That's it's really not that bad. You can't push the button. If you got an iPhone 7, you're going to stick your finger to the fan if you want to push the button. You really can't even swipe up either. I guess you have to make some sacrifices in the name of comfort. Some people in the Amazon comments were complaining that it didn't work as well with cases on. Of course, they had the, they had the one with the adapter. This doesn't have the adapter on it. This is, there's no adapter. Here's an iPhone uh, 10s Max with a case on it. That seems to be working pretty well. It's a decent breeze. It's not a, it's not amazing, but you know, when there's stagnant air, like in this car with, with no air on when it's 100 degrees outside, it's not, it's actually not bad. Try a different case. This is a much thicker case. Uh, let's see how it does that one. Oh, you know, it doesn't seem to be having any problem whatsoever with cases on here. Maybe people that use that adapter were having problems with cases because I'm not having the problem with this one. If you never saw my AliExpress video, I'll link that below, but uh, this one attaches your steering wheel and you can put your phone on there. Obviously not while driving, but if you're sitting parked, this combination of these two things might actually work well together. I'm, I have a full charge on my phone, so that should not be an issue. I'm gonna let the fan blow while I'm reviewing my next product and I'm gonna let it sit there and see how it goes. All right, that's interesting. I'm gonna let it sit here and go the whole time, but I've got another gadget for the car. And this one is a fast food related gadget, which I love fast food gadgets. And the fan just stopped. <laughs> the fan just, what's up with it? The fan just stopped. Come on now, do I have to activate my, oh, come on now. When the phone times out, it's gonna turn the fan off. Just went off again. Oh man. All right, let's see if it keeps going or not. There we go. Come on now, are you serious? Terrible. Wow. I, I, I cannot tell you how disappointed I am that that's doing that. <laughs> it's going on and off. It's went on again. Come on now, man. What's up with this? It just went off again. I give up. I give up. It's AliExpress. What do you expect? It was a dollar. Well, let me, let me get to the next gadget while this disappointing fan keeps turning on and off every time my phone turns off. I think it's technically advertised as a fry and ketchup holder, but you can use it for other things like vegetables and ranch or nuggets and sauce. You can use it a lot of different things. This actually fits right into a cup holder for the car. Very nice. I've got some, uh, some medium fries from McDonald's. You know, I'm not a huge McDonald's fan, but their fries are probably still the best. The only way you're gonna take advantage of this is to dump these in there. This part comes out. So there's two slots in there where it slides into. So I guess you could put your fries in there, but then you're not gonna be able to put the, this in here without it kind of smashing the fries. So I think you need to put the, this in first. So we put it in there. I guess I'm just gonna kind of dump them like this. Hopefully I don't make too much of a mess. Not, not, not too bad, I guess. Not as easy as it seems when you're not looking. I didn't think that French fries and ketchup could be displayed so nicely, but it's nicely displayed. When I do splurge at McDonald's, I usually get something like chicken nuggets with hot mustard sauce. I don't eat it often, but when I do, I enjoy it. 
Now you might think, where is he going to put his uh, hot mustard sauce? Well, good thing I've got my Sauce Moto dip clip from a previous review, which I'll also link that below. Uh, I will show you how this works, even though this is not really part of this video. All right, so the Sauce Moto dip clip goes right on your vent like this. I think this was on Shark Tank. I think it was on Shark Tank, but it was, I've, I've used it for, I actually use this once in a while. Then you can drop your uh, dipping sauce right in there. Now I've got my chicken nuggets and dipping sauce here. I've got my fries and my ketchup there. And you know what, what's weird, going back to my fan for a second, the fan hasn't shut off now. It's, it's been going for the whole time. I don't know why it was shutting off so much before. Now it's going continuously, so. <laughs> but I digress, let me get back to the french fry holder here. I mean, once you get that in there, it's pretty basic. I mean, you just take your fries out and dip them. There's not, not really much to say about that. There we go. If I have any minor complaints, it's that the, the dipping area is kind of narrow. I'm, I'm nitpicking, I'm looking for things to complain about. It almost makes your french fries look kind of high class, doesn't it? It's pretty basic. It works pretty much as it's supposed to. It holds a medium fry. I don't think it would hold off a large fry. This is a medium fry from McDonald's and it's kind of full. I actually had to eat a few pieces to get them out of the way, so I don't think it's gonna hold more than that. Going back to my fan here, it's been running nonstop for about five minutes, so I'm kind of happy about that. And my, my Sauce Moto dip clip, which is not part of this video, that's working pretty good too. Now this is just the first two of five things. Before I go on, I'm gonna sit here and finish my food. I'm gonna see if this fan shuts off. I'm gonna see if there's any other problems with this, but so far, the fan's working fine now. I don't get that. Like, why would it start working now when it wasn't working there initially? Because my phone is off, so I, it should not be, I don't know, I don't get it. But I'm gonna finish my food. I'm gonna let the fan sit here for a while, and I will let you know if anything changes. All right, as I'm finishing up my food here, I got two observations, one about each product. The French fry holder, when you get to the bottom, it's kind of hard to reach in there. It's like, it, it actually gets underneath this clip, so you kind of have to fish that little last part out. Not, not really a big deal, but something to consider. And the other thing is the fan is weird because at first it was cutting off all the time. Now it's, it's run for like eight minutes straight, hasn't stopped at all. My phone has been off, no notifications. I don't understand why I was working now and it wasn't before, but it's nice, it's a pleasant breeze. It's not a strong breeze, but it's pleasant. I, and I'm pleasantly surprised that it started, decided to work, but I don't know why it works now and it didn't before. Uh, I'll keep using this and let you know if it, if it continues. Maybe it was a fluke, I don't know. I think that's about enough for these, so let's move on to the next gadget. These are called the food huggers. This is actually how they came. They're silicone food covers. Now I actually washed them out and put them back in here because I, I just like the way they're displayed. But they have different sizes here. I have not used these, I've only washed them. So really they're uh, three bucks a piece, which I guess seems a little bit like a lot, I don't know. The reviews are pretty good for this. It's Amazon's choice right now. It has about 5,000 reviews. Most people seem satisfied with them. Some people had a few, what I thought were kind of fair criticisms of it. They say you can use this on anything from, from raw fruits and vegetables to cans. So I'm gonna try a little bit of both and, and see how they go. Your first thing is to kind of pull it apart and, and wrap it over. I think what you're supposed to do is just shove it on there, but I'm just thinking the purple might be better. So I think you're just kind of supposed to shove it in there. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this and this both in the fridge. I'll check them tomorrow and see if there's any difference. I'll put this one in just the regular uh, plastic wrap and the food hugger. Before I go too much further with all the food items, let me try a couple cans because I might use those on food items as well. Say you're, uh, you only want to drink half of one, which I don't know why you would do that, but some people might. You want to put it back in the fridge? Well, that one's a little bit loose. Let me try a different one here. Maybe this one. That would work quite well, I think. Pretty good. Let's say you have this open can of Coke with coffee. What size will fit on there? Well, the yellow one? Hmm. Here's a case where I don't have one that seems to be quite the right size. Let me take this one off the can. Well, that seems to work for that one too. Okay. Guess I would need more of this size if I want to do multiple cans, huh? All right, let's say we got a half a cucumber. We need to do something with this. We got, I can't just leave it like that, right? I guess this is gonna be the closest one. It's a little bit loose, but I guess it's kind of forming a seal around it. Ish. This one seems a little bit loose. This one seems it's, it's not big enough, so it's gonna to have to go with this one. Let's try half of an apple now. Will it fit in here? I'm not quite sure, let me see. I guess it's gonna to have to be the red one. The red one seems like it's providing a better seal. It seems to work pretty well. Half of a lemon. The only one, I only have two left and it's not gonna fit in this one. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this one. But it should fit in here. Oh, that fit nicely. Put right in. 
perfectly sealed. That actually is holding it quite well. I don't really know what I'm going to do with this one. Maybe I can try a banana. I guess. I don't really cut my bananas in half with the peel still on, but I'll try it, I guess. I, I never prepare my bananas like this, but some people might. And those people might need something like this if they're going to save their banana for the next day. All right, I think it's, it's working. That seemed to work. So let's take a look at what we got here. Oh, you can even stand it up. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool. All right, this is what we got. I think that so far that my first impression is actually pretty good. It seems like it, not everything's going to fit in there. Some, some things are kind of in between sizes, but overall it looks pretty good. I'm going to put these in the fridge and with their counterparts just put in plastic wrap and check them tomorrow. But otherwise, I think it works pretty well. It's a bit strange, but it's also a bit oddly satisfying. So we'll see uh, tomorrow how these go. All right, it's been 24 hours. Let's check it out. I should also point out that I tried different uh, ways of putting them in the fridge. You can actually stack these. I'm not sure if you're supposed to, but it, it seemed to work out. So uh, that does add a little bit of an extra feature to it if you can actually stack something that's not normally stackable. This is the plastic wrap banana, a little bit of brown, not terrible. Let's try the food hookers now. Plastic wrap off. It's pretty similar. Uh, plastic wrap, food huggers. It's, a, it's about the same. Something to point out is you do have to clean out the inside of the food huggers, which we don't have to do with plastic wrap, but plastic wrap is wasteful and this is not. I don't expect much from lemon because they would hold up overnight anyways. These, these hold up for a long time anyways, but plastic wrap, food huggers, about the same. Cucumbers. Plastic wrap, food huggers. Not much difference, once again. All right, here's the apple on the plastic wrap. Doesn't look too bad, really. And food huggers. Oh, wait, do we have a difference? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> they look pretty close. I thought maybe the food huggers was gonna come out on top. It's no worse than plastic wrap. They're, they're virtually identical. Depending on how you look at it, the fact that these are all been identical could be good or bad. You know? I'm trying to see the bright side. The bright side is there's no waste with these. So, you know, it's, they're kind of expensive though. So kind of a balance. And finally, the tomato and plastic wrap looks fine. Food huggers. Oh, I got to clean that out. There's a bunch of tomato juice in the bottom there. They're identical. Plastic wrap, food huggers. All right. Well, I think this was pretty much a tie across the board. So depending on what you're looking for is whether that's a good thing or not. If you don't want to create a lot of waste, and you don't mind the one-time investment, food huggers probably be good for you. If you don't mind using plastic wrap, then I don't see why you'd want to switch. On the other hand, you can stack foods that are not normally stackable with a food hugger, so that's another thing to consider as well. To me, I think they work. I, I kind of like them. They might be a little bit expensive, but to me, the food huggers do what they're supposed to do, so they live up to the advertising hype. Next up, if it's the Glocusant, I believe it's pronounced, Neck Reading Light. Uh, this is a, one of the highest rated items I've ever seen on Amazon. As of this filming, it's got 36.7 thousand reviews, 4.7 star rating. Amazon's Choice, I have a lot of requests for it. There's even an As Seen on TV similar model called the Lizard Light. I'm not sure if that's going to take off or not, but I've seen that one advertised as well. So let me go over the features of the Glucosant, Glocusant, Glocusant, Glocusant Neck Light. All right, so there's buttons on either side, so you can actually control these one at a time. You can go low medium high off low medium high off and there's also a button way back here which changes the color of it you've got it's kind of an amber like a warmer light and a cooler light that's actually a pretty nice feature that you can change the the warmth of the light itself let me put on a magazine here and see how it looks oh it's very bright let me see it's where you can have one on low and one on high see so you have low high well, that's very bright. It works quite well. You can see me pretty well on the camera, but I actually got the settings cranked in there. It's pretty dark in here. So yeah, I can read this fine. I don't even, I don't even need my reading glasses, which I might need when, if it's kind of dark. So wow, that works quite well. The other thing I should point out also is that this is very adjustable. Pretty much any angle you can adjust it. You can adjust it like this. You can adjust it like that. It pretty much adjusts at any angle you want. You can make it really wide, you can make it narrow. I mean, it's really, I mean, you could even, you can almost put it like that. I mean, there's, it's actually pretty versatile. I mean, there's, I've had neck fans where the adjustment's really minor, it's not that great. This, I mean, it's a, look at this. I should also point out that there's models out there kind of similar to this that use batteries. That makes them much heavier. You actually have to either put rechargeables in there or you have to pay for more batteries. This is very lightweight. It feels like, almost nothing on there but it doesn't feel cheaply made at the same time 
Usually lightweight means cheap, but in this case, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that. It, it just feels lightweight. So I'm quite happy with this. Supposedly the batteries last 80 hours. That's a, that's a long time. Um, I'll keep using this throughout the week and I'll let you know uh, if, it's, if that's accurate or not. But so far, I mean, I have nothing bad to say about this. I'm, I'm kind of glad someone requested it because I'm actually gonna, probably going to use this. I think this is the warm light. That's the cool light. I think I like the warm light the best. Wow. I mean, I, so far, I'm very impressed by this so far. I'll keep using it and let you know by the end of the week how it goes. All right, this is the up down light. This is an ASEAN TV product. It's a motion activated light that actually has a light that points up or down or both. It's also on Amazon. I got it for 15 bucks. Uh, let's take a closer look at this before I get started. Uh, the first thing I noticed when I opened it up, I was a bit disappointed. I thought this was something that plugged into the wall, and this is just tape. Come on, man. I don't want to tape it to my wall. Anyways, so uh, open it up here. It takes, takes uh, I think, three AAA batteries, not included. They do give you some mounting screws, which I am not going to use. Uh, but there isn't really much to it besides that. I'll put some batteries in here. You have, on this side, you have off auto and on auto is for motion detection on just stays on all the time and on this side you just have the selector which goes if you want up down or both uh, the motion detection supposedly uh, has about a 10 foot range and i think the light stays on for approximately 20 seconds according to the instructions the brightness of the lights is about 32 lumens so not really bright more like a i would say more like a night light it's also for indoor use only so yeah, I'm not going to put this on my wall, not with this tape. I'll go get some mounting strips and use those. I've already had my share of these types of taped products damaging my walls. Oh man. Let's see. Oh no. I'm probably going to get some mounting strips so I can move it in case I don't like the location I put in. So let me do that and then test this out tonight. Well, this was a spot I originally had picked out for it. I, not realizing that you don't plug it in the wall. So I'm just going to put it right above this outlet and uh, use it right here. This is a good spot, so I want to use it right here. Now these command strips are usually hold much heavier items, so I'm not worried about this falling off. So I'm putting the command strips right on the back, so it'll be easy to remove. All right, we'll try to center it here. <clears throat> okay, just testing it when it's turned on without the motion detection, let's check it out. All right, up, down, both. This button is really hard to feel. I, I, you don't feel it at all. You have to just almost just know what's there. So I'm gonna come back a little bit later when it's darker and give it a full test. Oh, and here we go. All right. It's actually been working for a while since the sun went down a little while ago. I'm just now getting my camera out. But uh, here's how it works. Now I actually measured how far the motion detection is in this. It's actually further than they say. I think they say 10 feet. I, I'm measuring it 15 feet away. So the motion detection is actually quite good. It's certainly a decent night light when it's on the up and down mode. Let's try, let's try all three ways and see how they look. See, I can't find this button though. Where's that button at? Let me take a look at this up position. I don't like that as much because you can't see the floor. <laughs> it almost defeats the purpose. It's kind of shining up in your face. Let me try the down light. Now down, I actually think that makes more sense because it's actually on the floor. I kind of like both best. Let me show you close up with this. Right here is both up and down. Looks pretty good. Now see, just the down makes sense because it's illuminating the floor, which is what you want to see if you're using it as a night light, which I assume you are. See, as you can see, when it's, when it's on the uh, up mode, the floor is still dark. It's kind of shining your face. It's almost counterproductive. It makes it harder to see where you're going, not, not easier. So that's kind of that's bad. Now when you have it both ways, the, the bottom light kind of offsets it so you don't feel like you're so blinded by it. I don't know. The, the up down part kind of seems a get, bit gimmicky to me. I don't think, I think the last time I filmed the video over here was the under light four years ago. And now it's not turning off. It's definitely been more than a minute. I think that's what's supposed to happen. I think the only thing that the makers of this have to separate this from a regular night light is the fact that it has the up down feature, which to me, the up feature by itself is kind of useless. So you might as well just leave it on both and call it a night light and call it good. It'd also be better if you could plug it into a wall at least have the option to. And, and the button on the side is actually almost impossible to find, so. It's a big gimmicky, I guess, I don't know. It, it works. It, I think if you buy it, you'll like it, but it's 15 bucks for, for basically a nightlight. So if that's worth it to you, uh, that's all right. I don't think that the, uh, most people are gonna be using the up only configuration. So at that point, you don't really need the up down light, you just need the down or both lights. 
I should point out it will work in the daytime as long as the room is not too bright, and pets will set off the motion detection just like this. All right, so let me recap all of these products here. First up with the phone mini USB fan. Now that was kind of weird because at first, as you saw, it was turning on and off on its own. But after, after a little bit, it stopped doing that. And, and it's been a, probably a week since that test and it's worked flawlessly ever since then. I, they, I let it run for over an hour. The night that I filmed that video, it worked perfectly. So I don't, I don't know why I did that initially. Maybe it was sticking, I'm not sure, but it's working fine now. But with that said, it kind of seems almost like a, either a novelty or a gag gift. Maybe something to hand out at a pool party is kind of a fun gift. But I don't think you're gonna wanna regularly use this because number one, people don't wanna sit there and hold their fan. It also stops you from being able to use your phone, at least the bottom part of the screen. And number two, it's gonna drain your phone battery. It's kind of a fun product, but I'm not sure how useful it really is. Now, as far as the French fry holder goes, I have nothing really new to update. It kind of works, either it works or it doesn't. Uh, it's a nice looking item. It, it displays your french fries and ketchup nicely if you ever need to do that. I'm not sure it's really necessary, but it was kind of fun to try out. Now, as far as the neck light goes, uh, I don't think I've used it the full 80 hours they say it's gonna require for one battery charge. I've used it quite a few nights of uh, reading in bed before I go to sleep. I haven't had to recharge the battery once, so the battery life seems pretty good. I think overall the neck fan works quite well. As far as the food huggers goes, I've, I'm still trying to use that. I'm, not, I'm still not convinced if I think it's better than just using plastic wrap or not. There is something oddly satisfying about it. I can't really put my finger on what it is. I do like the fact that you can have cut up fruit that's stackable, that's not normally stackable. That's kind of neat about it. It does look nice as well. So I can see how there would be some people who would really like this. Some people may not see the point. The up down light, it's, I put it in a pretty high traffic area. It's been going on and off all day long, all night long. It doesn't seem to be very light sensitive. It's going on in the day time as well but after a three or four days of use the battery seems like they're holding up i haven't noticed any significant drain on the batteries the light still as bright as it was before i don't th i think it's a bit gimmicky i don't think the up light is useful at all it's certainly pleasant enough a uh, night light it works well the only thing i would say about the mounting is that i actually put it on a little bit crooked if you noticed in the video itself with command strips i can adjust that if you were to stick it on your wall and leave it there it may not be so easy to to take it off and remount it so i don't like the mounting system something like velcro and command strip seems like a much better option but that's not available well that's all i've got for this video if you've tried any of these products tell me what you think in the comments below i appreciate you watching and i'll see you next time